Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have covered a good chunk of Cloud Code UIs till now like Cloudia, Cloud Code Web UI, Terragon, Crystal, and whatnot. However, there's also a little boy who was left in the background that no one talks about but is pretty useful, and that is Gemini CLI. Most of you would know about it as Google's alternative to Cloud Code, but it is also fully free with models like Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is quite a good model. Now, being a CLI tool, it lacked proper interface options before, but that's changed with this new Gemini CLI UI repository. It's based on the Cloud Code Web UI that I've reviewed previously, except it swaps Cloud Code for Gemini, creating an excellent interface solution specifically for Gemini CLI. Being web-based means you can deploy it anywhere and access from mobile or any device, allowing background operation while you periodically check progress, which feels pretty convenient too. Deployment works both on remote servers and local machines depending on your needs, pretty neat. Essentially, it encapsulates Gemini CLI functionality, letting you choose models and access free tier exactly like native Gemini CLI, or alternatively connect your personal API keys for enhanced usage, which adds nice flexibility. Additional features include YOLO mode functionality that grants comprehensive tool access permissions. Plus, it provides various capabilities, including project creation and session control. Operations continue during navigation thanks to responsive design featuring image upload capabilities, mobile compatibility, and complete feature set. This integration feels smooth and functions with any existing Gemini CLI configuration, supporting both free tier usage and API key setups since it layers over that foundation. Time to demonstrate its actual functionality. For setup, simply download the repository locally. After completion, proceed with installing required package dependencies. Following installation, duplicate the environment file, then execute to launch the application on port 409. Upon completion, the system prompts for login credentials to ensure secure access. Complete that step, and here's the resulting interface. The interface closely resembles Cloud Code Web UI, since it's fundamentally derived from that. The left sidebar displays your configured projects along with their associated sessions underneath each project, creating clean organization. Navigation between any of these options works seamlessly. Project addition happens through the Add button where you specify your project directory path, enabling immediate usage, really convenient feature. Settings panel provides model selection capabilities for your preferred choice alongside comprehensive permission configuration option. YOLO mode activation through this section enables comprehensive tool permissions. Audio notification toggle provides sound alerts upon task completion, keeping you informed effectively. Individual tool permissions offer granular control, enabling or disabling specific functionality as required. Within conversations, prompt input works normally while C-Symbol allows targeting specific files for modifications when such precision is necessary. Image uploads are supported within threads. Additional functionality appears in the top navigation area. The top bar includes a direct link launching native Gemini interface within your web browser. This enables users preferring the original Gemini CLI experience to access web-based Gemini CLI functionality directly through this convenient option. Manual file editing capabilities exist for situations requiring direct human intervention, pretty useful feature. Source control integration provides visibility into commit messages and difference comparisons among other version control features, quite handy really. The arrow icon reveals additional customization, including theme modification, auto-expand tool configuration, raw parameter display toggle, and automatic bottom scrolling preferences as well. These features are quite neat. That covers the primary functionality overview. Time to demonstrate practical usage examples. Let's explore it through practice. I'll create a basic empty project directory. The system will then register this new project entry. Next, we'll establish a fresh session and request any desired functionality. My request will be creating a basic Minesweeper game since this perfectly showcases the tool's capabilities. After submission, watch as the system processes and executes your requirements. Background processing mirrors Gemini CLI functionality while providing continuous progress updates throughout. Quite impressive. This solution appeals to me since I've searched for quality Gemini CLI interfaces and this delivers well. Ideally, someone will adapt Claudia for Gemini CLI integration too since I appreciate that interface and its solid performance. 
However, this solution excels in practicality since task initiation allows departure and return for progress checking, creating flexible workflow management that's excellent. Server deployment enables remote access while providing competitive alternatives to Joules or Codex solutions, offering solid value proposition. Additionally, Gemini CLI offers generous free tier usage limits. Excellent. For users intimidated by command line interfaces, this graphical solution definitely merits consideration. That summarizes its core operation. This impressed me enough to share since Gemini CLI interfaces receive minimal coverage, yet provide excellent capabilities across numerous applications. So, I decided to highlight this solution too. I encourage everyone to experiment with this tool too. Generally speaking, quite impressive. Let me know what you think about this tool in the comments below. Have you tried similar interfaces before? I'm curious about your experience with CLI tools. Catch you in the next one, everyone. Later.